Hello guys and welcome to my workroom I could say. Uh, I built this uh, about a year ago and I have my computer and stuff in here. This is just uh, like half of this room what you can see. And uh, I will show you later this house. It's pretty much ready, a little bit small things to fix there and there. But uh, mainly it's ready. But today I will go to the lava, the shelter and uh, finish maybe the... Uh, I can't finish the roof but start making the roof there. Uh, we had a two days really big storm here. And uh, I'm a little bit afraid if, if the temporary roof is <laughs> not there anymore. You can see it grow quite soon. Yeah, the yard is really terrible here now. Uh, last video you saw it was winter. Now it's uh, plus degrees again. But it's how it works here in the, in the archipelago Finland. Um, it's going to the plus and minus back and forth all the time. But uh, yeah, and the winter is really crappy usually. Last winter was great, but that's not common here. And uh, but that, that plus point of that is that we have a really nice summer. It's long in a Finnish way, <laughs> really long summer, warm. And we have the sea here, it's warming up the weather. So maybe in the summer I can do a lot of bicycle and paddling videos for you. I have uh, two nice bikes. I have a gravel bike and then I have the fat bike and uh, we have new sea kayaks, what we haven't used yet, but <laughs> we had those more than one year. I had the hand injury. I was uh, in surgery, so it's now healed up pretty good. It's working enough. So we will make some paddling videos later. Yeah. But let's go building up the lava. Oh yeah, in the last episode I was milling the slabs for the roof to the lava. And uh, I first thought that uh, the logs were icy and full of, full of knots. But I soon realized that it was the chain. It was dull. Uh, not even dull, it was like, like fucked up from, uh, from uh, fixing my terrace from last summer. There I had one big railing there and I had to slice it like uh, like the grain wise and I used the splitting chain so I I did hit a couple of nails or screws there and it was like a uh, chips missing so I was sharpening it, it uh, sharpening it uh, a couple of times and after that it took so much uh, metal out of the teeth so it started to really work and uh, the shavings here, I hope the, oh, they're shooting deer in the field. If you can see it, but it's pretty long a grain. So now it work it even better. So I changed today the chain. Uh, I have 16 inch bar and uh, the splitting chain is 10 degrees and this is, is it 25? 45? I don't know. 
Uh, I should know about my memories. I can't remember any names, words or numbers. So basically nothing. But yeah, anyway, this is the regular like cutting chain. And this is the 16 inch Oregon bar advanced cut. So I will use this. In Finland they sell this saw with the 14 inch bar. Uh, and uh, this is steel MS251. So it's like the, what they say, uh, homestead owner saw or something like that. They have like different saws for different target groups. So this is pretty powerful for uh, like a amateur job. But of course the pros use different saws for different jobs. And this is a little bit, you can do a little bit everything with this. I really like it. Like it. The bar is pretty small, but anyway, the trees here are pretty small. So it's usually uh, just a waste of money and uh, showing off to having a too big bar. It's easier to use when it's a little bit smaller, at least for these kind of tasks I'm doing here. Yeah, enough bullshit. Let's walk to the lava now. Uh, I can actually see the lava already. The roof is still on. That's hmm, impressive. So I was milling these laps, and when I had the sharper chain it was actually really fast so I did basically do all this pile in two, uh, two hours and they are not perfect they need a little bit like smoothing but in overall overall I'm really happy and pleased for the result it went really nicely I can hear now the the hawks again, really nice to hear them. I was a little bit afraid that they moved away from here because I thought their nest is in that forest. I was walking there with my wife Katja and we, we did find one nest, but I don't think it's the hawk's nest. So probably they are actually in the different forest nesting there. And now they're flying again. There was like five hawks last spring and it's really nice to see them flying here. And uh, I saw a lot of deer tracks walking here. I had to take the other route because the normal trail was like an ice skating track. It's so slippery here. Have to be careful today. But I think the most dangerous job is already done walking here. And uh, yeah, I also got to the uh, small group of hunters here and uh, um, I think we had a three uh, like uh, hunting sessions here and I was with them in the two hunting sessions and I got two roe deers from the last last hunting session. I would need uh, one more deer, roe deer. So I hope we get one more hunting. If we don't I have this own small forest here. Uh, I need a lot of luck to get any, any deer in this area. They're moving here all the time. But uh, now when I have been following the trail cam, they're actually moving in uh, 4 o'clock at the night. Is it 4 a.m. In, in the US way to say? And uh, of course they move in the daytime also, but it needs so much luck or otherwise I have to be be scouting them like hours and hours there in the one spot with the shotgun <laughs> and I'm not, not, not going to do that. And I was hoping that I will hunt only with that group so that we have like similar rules and uh, work together. It's nice, really nice, nice hobby. But yeah, I'm talking too much. I can show you the goal, what I want to do today. So here is the temporary uh, tarp. 
it looks really ugly and nasty and I hate it. But it was really good that we start, could start using this lava already. So this is a traditional shelter what we use here in Finland. Uh, it's a little bit like a, you could say barbecuing, but with the open fire and just hanging around, uh, enjoying the nature. We also sleep in here, spend nights. We spend time with the friends. So it's uh, like a hanging, hanging place for us. And uh, this is a long time version how to make it. So it's going to stay here like forever. Basically, if, 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 if the maintenance is okay and if the roof is not leaking. So I want to do in this weekend at least this part, what I can see from here, uh, about the slabs here. Uh, but before I can do that, I need a little bit support for these beams, I could say. So I need a couple of like short logs here. It could be that maybe two is enough, uh, we need to see. And then I will put one long beam going all the way uh, under these and supporting the roof because there is going to be a lot of weight. Uh, it's going to be a green roof. Uh, so I will put some soil in there and uh, grow some shit from there. So when it's raining a lot, the water is going down pretty nicely because it's pretty steep angle, but it's going to be heavy, I'm pretty sure. And at, at least in the uh, fall, when it's getting the moist and it's getting ice, also some snow maybe, I hope. So it needs a lot of support. Yeah. I'm talking again. Why don't you tell me that shut up and do some working, asshole. Yeah. Let's put the saw on and start doing something.
Oh yeah, this has been much faster than what I expected. And uh, the chain, what was really fucked up, is now working better than a new one. I think I have learned now how to, finally, how to use the, 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 the sharpening system. I don't know if this is wrong way. Yeah, I think I was thinking to put it this way there. It's a little bit shaky wakey. I need to drill holes up there and uh, hit some wedges or like the wood there. This is a little bit like a dry fit. I will a little bit smoother than that, that out. And uh, yeah, only one or two hours max and it's this side is almost ready. And I have already a couple of locks to the other side, so it will go fast. Yeah, that was super fast. I have the small logs there, and now I have one big one. Oh, I actually had a, two options for the roof beam, the bigger one and the smaller one. Uh, and one thing about to remember next time if I'm doing this and watching the video, I had this one big log there. Uh, I did. Um, Cut it uh, uh, pretty much one year ago, and uh, this was a little bit left there in the side, and I had all the bark on it, and uh, now it went off uh, almost without using any tools, and it leaves really nice surface in the log. So next time, if I have time, I will cut down the trees, maybe uh, cut them in the right length, then leave it there one one year, and then assemble the thing what I'm doing, just not for myself. I don't know how I will get this big guy on there alone. The problem is that the small logs are shaky hakey, so they will drop pretty easily if I lift this, like one side first and then the another side. I have to think some rope thing. Having a friend wouldn't be so bad, but now I don't have any friends. I just want to do this. So, what I want to do this is the bigger and I want that that side, smaller one this side. Maybe do some rope, rope shit here. Hmm. Difficult job.
Oh shit, it wasn't my day after all. You saw the big log. I already had it twice there and I was making the cut down there and uh, it was ready. I had some troubles to get it up there, drop down and it was split in two pieces. It was like two hours making the log in the forest, get it in down there, down here. <laughs> Maybe four hours work, then all break down. But that's life. Uh, I didn't have any others than the, this smaller one here. I will show you better that tomorrow. It's going to be dark soon. But I will test out a little bit the, the boards to the roof. And uh, But let's continue tomorrow when we have more light. I can show you what I'm doing here. <laughs> Oh, it was such a shit show. I, that's like a really terrible comedy, British comedy, where I just like run back and forth. When I had the other side there, then their small lock dropped down the other side. I went there, then the other side was dropped down and hoo -hoo, that was stupid of me. It, it would be really easy with the one friend, but I'm a poor lone bastard I, I don't have any friends yeah but let's see you tomorrow good morning so i was here in the evening with my headlamp i did put some boards here in the roof just a little bit to see how it looks like but then i actually screwed them on i had to cut them and continue this Thing. What I noticed that uh, most probably I'm getting out of the boards and I need to mill some more. I hope I have enough logs here. It could be a little bit just and just. But yeah, this looks awesome. It's not as good as I was hoping for, but it looks very good. Very, very good. I have never seen in the lava this kind of roof and it will be the crown of it.
ride. It's starting to get a small storm again. So I did put some boards on the roof here. I have it mostly up there, some here in the middle. I'm running out of the boards like I guessed. I think with this I can get about to the halfway. So I need a lot more wood. But anyway, I need to put the tarp back on. So this is a little bit sketchy. Most of the boards here are just like a half of a tree. So it was, they were really small ones and I did. Cut them to half. And oh, it's so difficult to put this alone. But I try to be careful. I'm actually standing on the tarp, so I was thinking why it's so heavy. It will not look so nice. It looks like more like a homeless shelter now, but I know it's it will look pretty awesome later. Uh -huh, there's a sharp screw. I have to be careful. I have to measure this roof actually also because it's it's pretty huge. Uh, it's a little bit like I wanted. I wanted that it goes in the both sides and back in the front. A lot of over the shelter. So there is 270 is there. 270 plus shit. 280. So it's a five point half meters wide. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I will talk you the numbers so I can take it from the tape later. I have a couple of options how to make the roof. I want the green green roof but how, how to make it? That's the problem and uh, not spending too much money. So this is 360 to that part. This doesn't have to be so accurate, but 360 plus one for uh, five meters this way. I, sorry. Five meters and five and a half. So the roof is more than 25 square meters. Pretty big. Always, when you put the tarp, the most important part in this kind of structure is the front, because the wind is coming from that side, and if the wind gets under the tarp, it's going to rip it. Almost how doesn't matter how hard you apply it there, because the wind has so big power when it's under the struct structure. My guess is the tarp is five and a half meters also. I don't really trust the corners of this lava because I made them a little bit lighter. Also, when there is the green roof, the mo <coughs> moist is going down, so it's going to be the lightest. 
remains of the roof. Nice views from here. I'm not so high up, but anyway. So. So, thank you for watching, there's not much left to see here, there's nothing to see here, go home. Are you still there? Okay, now go home. God damn it.